So just to explain some of my skepticism, even recently, and just to say I love short-range forecasts. I am always so incredibly impressed by, especially having done this for 30 years, mostly in this region. I mean, in the last couple of years, we've had storms come in where, especially if we've got some convection and the structure is almost identical Mm -hmm. to the model. When it comes in and you see it in real time, boy, the model picked that up beautifully 48 hours before, and it's coming, and it just blows my mind that we can do that now because you couldn't do that in the 90s, you know, Mm -hmm. when we knew each other. It's, the modeling is so, so good. The timing and the structure can be beautiful for short range forecasts, and we've made huge strides in that. But the longer range seasonal forecast that I've become a bit of a naysayer Mm -hmm. with personally, Mm -hmm. Say, for example, last fall, the winter outlook for last winter came out. And because we did have the weak La Nina, this is just one example, it was trending wetter and cooler than normal as a whole for Mm -hmm. the Northwest. And as we know, we ended up in a drought by quite a bit. The snowpack was low. And so you're trying to give people the story. And then not only does it not even come, you know, back to what would be considered average normal, it's far below. So it was, it was a really off forecast. 